I see them bending The tatty hawkers Ghostly at the break of day The crystal hairy Kirkintilach How it happened who will say Bart, a flaming buffet There's a tragic end to life They did not make it Past their station To be a husband or a wife Poverty, the boat that took them Too far above where they toiled Bent against the labored headlands Mother, father, youth and child Devalera from your island To far fields the thousands fled To work till sadness overtook them The blighted lives so many The flood of Achill and Aaron Moor Lost for what your pinched estate O'Donnell's truth could not compel you And the tears they came to lay Your sleight of hand meant nothing to them, nor your harsh annuities. Your church and state gone being sterile, set them o'er the cruel sea. Poverty, the boat that took them to far Abba, where they toiled, bent against the labored headlands. Mother, father, youth, and child. Devalera from your island To part fields the thousands fled To walk till sadness overtook them Their blighted lives so many days Thank you.
Just a thousand's fled To walk, to walk till sadness over to them The blighted lives, so many Well, I deliberately didn't say anything at the start of that one because I didn't want to sit and chat and then get the song wrong. This is going to be the first song that I put up that I have get half had any part in the creative process or the writing process. The way it happened was this, and you can switch off now if this stuff doesn't interest you. You've heard the good bit, you've heard the song, but now I'll give you a wee bit of the story because most good songs have got a good story. Uh, not the summer just there, the summer passed 18 months ago, or thereabouts, was obviously the last summer when we were doing things, and myself and the Heather Bird, and Pauline as well, we were over at the, the Clancy Brothers Festival in Carrick and Shure, which, see when we get back to having normal stuff, you all have to come, all of you, you're all invited, and you'll thoroughly enjoy yourself as well. One of the nights I was booked to sing in the pubs, and Powers Pub in Tullahocht, and yes, it's as good as it sounds, a wee village, uh, maybe about nine, seven, eight, nine miles from Carrick and Shure, which is where the, Ca the Clancy Brothers would go for their singing sessions. So the music is in the bricks. Yeah? And when I was doing my gig there, I met the man who wrote, the lyrics for that song, Frank Callery. A uh, real Renaissance man, he can do it all. He sings, he writes his... Frank actually wrote the music, he wrote music for himself to sing and I had to pop, and I wanted to sing it because we'll talk about the local connection, but I had to apologise to Frank, said I can't make Frank's own style of singing. I, I just, I couldn't plant my feet in it. And my loss, but I said, do you mind if I can try and put my own tune to it? And the reason why I wanted to do that is the incident that it talks about happened in my local town, when I'm in Lenzie, which is basically the woody suburb of Kirkintilloch. And this song is set in Kirkintilloch, and it's a song that I didn't even know the story about. I'm not local to the area, so I couldn't say how long this story has, has been, but it only came to my attention fairly recently. And uh, I, I, I found it hard to believe that, that I didn't know about this. And I thought it would be really nice if there was a song in memory of the tragedy. But um, the, the reason why I don't write songs is I'm shite with words. <laughs> but Frank posted this song, and I don't think Frank knew at this point that I stayed basically in Kirk and Tillich when he wrote the song. Or maybe he did, I don't know, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But we sat in Powers Pub in Tullahawk and we had a right good bit of a gab. And uh, we've stayed in touch online since. Frank's an amazing man. He writes songs, he writes poetry and he sings them virtually every day. He creates a new piece of art and I don't need to put quotes on that because he does. Yeah? Every single day he's, he's creating something and posting it and it is... It is always interesting and it's usually magnificent. <laughs> Uh, so this was the way that that one came about. I, I, when I read the words and I thought I would love to pay my tribute and I, and I took a couple of pictures and I'll post them. Matter of fact, it'd be nice if we could get a wee video to go with this song. Fiona, I'm going to tag you in that one. Uh, I'll do a wee bit of a proper version of it. Anyhow, there you go. So that is, as it should be, the, the bond, the connection, the collaboration between the Celtic nations the Clancy Brothers for enticing me over to Carrick and then me getting to work there, basically singing Clancy Brothers songs, uh, in particular the Scottish songs that the Clancy Brothers introduced to an Irish audience. Uh, they seem to think it quite cute when I go over and I sing them in a Scottish accent. <laughs> Hence the flaggery, right? As you'll know, it's not normally something. I normally don't do flaggery. That's not at all what's important to me, but I just wanted to show the two nations. I suppose today 
and uh, when all of these bastards in Westminster are making a point of having the biggest Union Jacks, we're becoming, and I mean no offence to American friends, we're becoming like America with flags down in London just now with these Union Jacks. So if anything, it's just a wee counter to that. Probably the most hated flag in the world of the existing flags that are still on the go just now, I would suggest would be the Union Jacks. So anyhow, it's just a wee bit of a, a counterbalance to that. And if I offended Andy, but that one there, them's the brakes.